Hey, everybody, Scott Sprites here with Doug Upstone. We're ready to put him in the win column this weekend. We are DocSports.com, and we are talking about the weekend series at Fenway between the Yankees and the Red Sox. And, Doug, the Yankees been kind of mediocre in 2021. Couple of games above 500 on the road, couple of games above 500 at home. Uh, their run differential is exactly zero. I mean, it's crazy. <laughs> and then talk on, you know, the talk on Thursday that I was reading on Thursday morning, People around the Yankees getting a little impatient with Frazier, with Gardner. Uh, meanwhile, Doug, the Sox have played above their heads for most of the season. I don't want to say above their heads as much as saying they played above expectations, I guess, is the better way to put that. Uh, but they did a lot of their damage early. And now the last 14 games, about 20% of the season, exactly 500, 7-7. Seven and seven. Uh, Yankees looking for revenge after getting swept by Boston a couple of weeks ago. Your thoughts on this one, Doug? The well, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna go um gonna go a little yesteryear here, Anya, with this. Uh, gonna take a trip down memory lane. Uh, over the last <laughs> decade or so, what's the thing that uh, that we always saw with these games if they were televised? Well, they were three and a half hours long. Okay, that we do. Okay, that was a given. Uh, there, there's a ton of walks. Okay, with with these games, and of course, every final score seemed to be eight to seven or ten to nine. Okay, with these yeah. games, so there was a lot of runs scored. And it didn't matter if the pitcher was CC Sabathia and Kurt Schilling, okay, who, who might have been on 30 uh, innings of scoreless baseball. In those games, they got beat up. And if they got away pitching five innings and throwing 100 pitches with giving away four runs, that was actually considered good. So it's so in, in this series, to be honest with you, Scott, I looked at the pitching matchups. I don't have a lot of thoughts on who's going to win the series and even who's going to win individual games, except for maybe Garrett Cole, okay, on Sunday. But other than that, I think I just kind of gave away what I'm going to say, but <laughs> I'll let you go ahead and uh, take it from here. Well, Yankees have only won 11 of the last 26. They're going to send, at least they've got scheduled for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, Domingo Armand, Jordan Montgomery, Garrett Cole, as you mentioned on Sunday, uh, to face Martin Perez, Nathan Eovaldi, and Eduardo Rodriguez for the Red Sox. And I'll tell you what, we're kind of talking, I guess you led me into Sunday. Rodriguez has been shaky in his last eight starts, or most of those eight starts, allowing 35 big, fat, and juicy earned runs, 73 bigger and fatter and juicier base runners in just 39 and two-thirds innings pitched. He's gotten away with it because his team has been scoring runs and I'll tell you what, I don't know that they're going to be able to do that when he takes the hill against Garrett Cole, who, by the way, with the exception of the first time out after all the substance checking by Major League Baseball, it's been pretty much unfazed. I don't think there's a problem going on between Cole's ears when it comes to the uh, substance on the baseball issues. Cole's been, he, he's dominated the Sox the last four times he's faced him. Uh, I think we're going to see some runs in Saturday's matchup, Doug, between Montgomery and Eo Valdi, so maybe we'll see what we've seen over the most decade between these two teams. The Yanks do fare well uh, in key metrics against righties, even on the road or especially on the road. Uh, so I think Saturday looks like an over, and then it's awfully tough to say anything but Garrett Cole and the Yankees on Sunday. What say you? Yeah, you know, the, uh, looking at how these teams are playing, you know, let's just say their current form, the, I mean, the Red Sox, you know, they're third in baseball and run scored for the season. Uh, recently, they've actually upped their game. They're scoring six runs a game. Now, the Yankees, you know, for as you said, Scott, they have floundered most of the year. And the biggest reason why they have floundered is they haven't hit. Well, mm -hmm. all of a sudden, in the last, you know, week or so, maybe eight days, uh, they started to score some runs. Now, I'm not saying the competition has been the best, but it hasn't mattered. They played inferior teams before, and they didn't score. Mm -hmm. Now they're averaging five runs in the last seven or eight games. So you're starting to see an uptick there, Scott, and I think that is going to carry over into this series as I gave a prelude prelude to, is I think we're going to see runs scored. And so instead of, for me, looking at the side of games, I, the first thing I'm doing when I look at this, I'm going to check the total on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I'm looking to play likely three overs in those games we're in 100% agreement on Saturday. I, th I think Friday's a, a, a distinct possibility as well. And it just depends if Boston, you know, continues to swing the bats well. I think they can get a few off of Cole, and we might probably see a lower number anyways, you know, with him on Sunday. <laughs> and as you said, Rodriguez, he's <laughs> he's hittable. And uh, so I think we've got a good shot here at, at three overs on this one. And a real quick note for the season, the Yankees, 
metrics at righties. You know, they might not be, have been scoring Yankee type runs at home throughout the course of the season, but in those metrics I like the most, which are, as I've said on these videos several times, you know, weighted runs created plus and Woba on the road against righties, that's where they're at their best in those metrics. Now that doesn't, it should, but it doesn't always equate to a lot of runs being scored. But I think Rodriguez might handle that for the Yankees when he goes on Sunday. So listen, uh, again, I'm not sure yet on that Friday game. I haven't decided. Yankees, a couple of books that have posted numbers thus far. Uh, the Yankees are about a buck 25, and I think I saw 10 and a half on a couple of shops that had the total. And uh, obviously the, the books are telling you where the betting is going to be. It's going to be generally speaking on a high scoring game. So uh, Doug and I in agreement on this series for the most part. And uh, don't forget, you can get that free $60 account. If you're not yet a member at docsports.com and you just want to give it a trial run, that's the real cool way uh, to do it. You click on the link below the video, get yourself set up for that free $60 account. And then you can use those free 60 bucks on any of Doug's packages, daily packages, any of mine, anybody else on the roster at docsports.com. Doug's been tearing it up in baseball. We've been out, you know, just strong out of the block since day one. So let's keep it going this weekend, folks, and check out all the plays over at DocSports.com. For Doug, I'm Scott. Let's put him in the win column.